I just thought I would do some videos of some differences between the Alberta building code and the BC building code that I've uh, that I noticed over time. There's a few things. So in this video here, I'm going to talk about um, what we see here: a firewall in a row house. And so just to give some context here, so um, what's quite popular, um, at least in this part of the city that I'm in, is to build row houses on corner lots like this. So, um, you know, this is an older picture here of this corner, and then um, what is there now is that. So uh, very common to do four units on here. So these are 50 feet by 120 deep lots. And you get four units, so three there, and then one door facing this street here and then a detached garage in the back. So that's very, very common in all these corner lots. And uh, so I've seen lots of these going up over the years around me, um, including this one. And as an example, this one right here, there was no firewall um, in the middle or between units. And then if we just swing around here, same thing with this one right here, no firewall was ever put between these units. But then in other cases, this is a very recent photo I took, in other cases I was seeing firewalls go up and I'd noticed this over over the years that, uh, you know, why, why do some of these four unit row houses have this um, firewall? It's not between each suite, it's only in the middle. Um, why um, do some have it and some not? And so I went digging trying to find that answer. And so I'll just go to the, I was looking in the previous version of the building code, but I'll just go to the, um, the Alberta edition 2023 one since we're using that now. And these are um, part nine buildings. So I'm gonna go into volume two, part nine. And I'm going to go to fire protection and find the firewall section. Okay, so 9, 10, 11, 2 is where we want to go. And then take a look at sentence 2. So our building of residential occupancy contains more than two houses, a party wall that separates any two adjacent houses with a secondary suite from the rest of the building shall be constructed as a firewall to create separate buildings, each containing no more than two adjacent houses with secondary suites. So sentence two here in this firewall section um, is very specific to uh, if, a, if a house has a secondary suite. And really what this is saying is you can't have more than two attached houses with secondary suites without putting a firewall in. So if those townhomes had a basement suite, then um, you know, the, the, the two homes, let's go back to the picture here. The, let's go maybe here. So these, that would be two homes. If you added basement suites, that would be two homes with basement suites. And all of a sudden you have to put a firewall in the middle. So that explains why some of these have these firewalls in the middle. And so here's an example of one of these um, that did have a firewall in the middle. And you can see, so there's a, the door for this end units facing the street there, but um, there's one town home here, one town home here, and then there's basement suites down here. So you go down some stairs to some basement suites, um, and then one and one in the basement suites again. So in this project right here, there was a concrete firewall uh, getting built there. Sometimes it's concrete, sometimes it's um, concrete block, but that, that's why I was seeing some with and some without. So anyways, how this relates to the BC code is I was reviewing a set of drawings um, for something very similar, some town home projects. And it was this one right here. So um, there's an entrance to a unit um, right here and also over here. One of them takes you straight upstairs. The other one takes you to just a main floor unit below. So the main floor is a separate suite from the upper floor. And so here it is in um, plan. So again, on the main floor, there's a suite entrance right there. And that's a self-contained two bedroom suite. And if you go in this door, you go upstairs to this unit right here. And actually there's, there's actually two units kind of staggering over top of that uh, that lower unit um, that looks like, yes, for sure there are. Anyways, that was kind of a um, similar uh, situation. So in my review, I was gonna say, hey, well, uh, the, you know, those are just development permit drawings, but uh, you know, it's nice to plan for that stuff um, beforehand because obviously an eight inch concrete wall um, is going to take up space and affect the, the, the suites a little bit. So I was going to flag that, then I thought, I better check the BC building code. Um, so that's what I did. So same thing, volume two, part nine, nine, ten, and uh, firewalls. 
in 9, 10, 11, 2. And look what happened here. So again, I'll go back to the Alberta one here. And the Alberta one has um, sentence two here, which talks about those two units with basement suites. And then we'll flip over to the BC and look what happened to sentence two, not there. So those are required in Alberta, uh, but they're not required in BC. And so I'm glad I did my homework and checked that out. And so why that is, um, I don't know <laughs> why, why one province you'd have to do it in one province and not another. But uh, anyways, there's another one of, you can see where it's starting to get built. Anyways, I thought that was interesting. So I thought I'd share that. There's a couple other things I've come across too that I'll hopefully try and do some videos on. Hopefully um, some of you find that interesting.